What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the fake state of play leaks that are going to start coming out. And uh, and here we go. Here's the first one. <laughs> you know, now here's the deal. It, it th I'm not saying a hundred percent for sure this leak that we'll talk about, uh, which is a piece of paper, and and it and it goes through the timestamps and it goes through what's going to be shown at the um, the state of play this upcoming Thursday. I'm not necessarily like. Will some of these things be there? Sure. Will it be in this order, though, with every single one of these games exactly how this is placed? The odds aren't high. The odds aren't high because this always happens. And that's kind of where I want to go with this. The general feel of this video is this always happens. Before a state of play, before an Xbox Bethesda showcase, before, you know, uh, whatever, you'll see these things where people will just have this they'll have a sheet of paper that for some reason shows you everything and uh, and somehow it made it online i mean we've seen this too many times and, and every single time by the way it doesn't happen so it's just you know is it something to pay attention to well i like talking about it because it's fun and you can you know it, it, it makes for good discussion but to put any stock into it would be pretty silly to me um not again not saying uh everything here isn't gonna be there so let's go through some of the the highlights so like you have a stray you have a street fighter 6 project e forespoken little devil inside so again some of these games i think are possible and then it seems like it switches right so first half literally is is third party stuff um which i guess uh, everything there does look like it's third party all right good and then you go into the second half and it's all VR, PlayStation VR 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, Resident Evil Village, uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. That's cool. And it ends with Resident Evil 4. Now, again, is this somewhat believable? Yes, I, I'm I'm not willing to say, like, this is the most uh, convoluted, crazy thing in the world. A lot of people are saying, like, this is immediately fake. I mean, give them at least credit for lining things up because, again, they there's a, there's a theme. They stay with third parties. They don't break that, which is what Sony did, right? They said third-party games. All right, so they'll list third-party games, and it's games that do make sense. We need the release date for Stray. That should happen. We need the release date for... Li now, now, why are we getting four minutes of Little Devil inside? Is that necessary? Gameplay trailer? We got gameplay. We got seven to eight minutes, I thought, of Little Devil inside a few months ago. So why, the, if that's true, that's a stupid decision. <laughs> but it's, uh, it, you know, it is there. And then again, once you break from that, then you start going into the VR. And now here's the deal, though. A lot of these VR things are things you may expect uh, again like they're not they're not leaps and maybe that's to keep them like somewhat safe right that that, that, that it could happen you have the actual psvr 2 overview which is only a minute it's a minute and two seconds then you go into call of duty which has been a, a rumor over the past couple weeks that call of duty you know modern warfare 2 is going to have a psvr 2 thing resident evil village that makes sense because you know seven had vr eight doesn't but you know you could add it Frontiers of Pandora, that one's very interesting because now that one's probably the biggest jump in terms of, you know, what I mean, them taking a, a risk, a leap of faith, uh, if you will. Um, because Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, what they're doing, I think, and again, like if this is true, well, I mean, a lot of the stuff I'm saying, I guess, sounds pretty stupid and it still would make sense. But if it's not true, I like the, the, the thinking, you know, the, the mindset because. We've seen, based off Sony's own stuff, that it does seem they own the uh, marketing rights to Frontiers of Pandora. Uh, and that's because when they did that call this past week, that was on the list along with Hogwarts Legacy, along with a couple other things that they promote. They promote that. So Frontiers of Pandora is going to be like PlayStation leaning, basically, right, is, is all that means. So for it to have a, a VR mode, you know, thing in it, make, I mean, that, you know, I mean, that's a, it is a leap because it's not guaranteed. But you also think, well, if you can make an Avatar game, the new Avatar game, VR, or have a VR component, why wouldn't you try, right? That's a big deal. I think that would be a huge deal. So that makes sense. I would not doubt whatsoever that that happens. I'm just saying, again, you know, that's the thing. And it's a three and a half minute, it's a gameplay trailer. It says three and a half minutes. Resident Evil is closer to like two. Uh, and then again, you end it with Resident Evil 4, uh, which is about a minute and 10 seconds, minute 13 seconds, it looks like. Um, and, and you end it with Resident Evil 4. Again, not 
the craziest. But again, here's the thing. When you do a list like this, you put all your cards on the table, right? And again, it's not necessary. I know we're talking about this list, okay? This is a list I had in front of me. It's a list that came out like today. Uh, but again, I'm talking about just in general, when these lists come out, oftentimes, in fact, 9 out of 10, they're not true. And the reason they're not true is because, again, you put all your cards on the table all at once where, again, I'm not doubting that we get a stray release date. We will. I think we will. I'm not doubting that we get a little devil inside release date. We should. Should we get four minutes of it? No. You know, do we need to see four spoken again? Probably not. You know, like, it's like some of these things aren't necessary. Also, you've now also, because you've put it uh, like this, you've made an order for yourself. So if you skip any of these, or if you don't have some of them, I mean, just factually you don't have some of them, you're wrong. The leak's wrong. So And, and, and of course, people that do this, and now there's really no name attached to this this leak. I mean, it came from an account, but I think the account got it from somewhere else. So, you know, but these people oftentimes, and you know probably who I'm talking about, some of these leakers, right? They'll say very ambiguous, open-ended things, and then when it doesn't happen, they hide behind it because they left it open on purpose. And I hate them. I hate it when they do that because it's very clear, I think, when, you can tell the difference when a leaker is purposely doing it for clout, for attention, for, you know, whatever, and then they purpose, you know, but they purposely did it like that. So if it doesn't happen, they've, they've patted themselves on the back. Like they, 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 they wouldn't get caught in it, but it's so obvious that they actually, <laughs> they actually do get caught and they do get made fun of as honestly they should. So that's, that's the thing. That's the thing for something specifically like this. What they've done is yes, some of these things I guarantee you will be there, but all, and, and they, they did a nice little order and it makes sense. You go third party, then you go VR two, but you've now put it in this exact order. So if VR goes first, or if Little Devil Inside goes before Stray, or Street Fighter goes first, or Street Fighter goes last, you know, any of those kind of things, they're immediately wrong. Because this was, this is the leak. It's not any other, you know, I mean, way of it. This is the leak. So that's uh, something to discuss. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, I'm going to be, you know, I, I expect to be uh, co-streaming it on my main channel, The State of Play. So that should be fun on Thursday. So check me out over there if you uh, want to watch it live. Make sure you guys are subscribed here. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. And I hope to see you all on tomorrow's video.